let's talk about the record and um the the process, I suppose. Um, you know, how long you've been working on it for. And um I'm sure it was a pandemic album, was it? Kind of, yeah. We once said one thing over and over again, and that was that we didn't want to make a pandemic record, but that's yeah. impossible to not incorporate such a massive uh shared experience into into what you're doing over that time. So yeah, we we worked on it for a couple of years um loosely writing it but we kind of function best when we get a deadline and we buckle down and, and work on it so we have a studio up in uh, the the kensington neighborhood in scranton or sorry in philadelphia jesus christ i lived in philadelphia for 15 years i fucked that up <laughs> um and we went in every day together the four of us in a box and worked on the record for a couple of months and then we went down and visited the producer brad cook at his home studio or his, his studio in north carolina and did a little bit of pre-production and then we went home for a month or two and did it again every day with a new perspective and a new vocabulary to, to describe the record and then we actually recorded the entire thing plus two more songs um uh, in two weeks which is wow. for reference the record before that took us six weeks to do record before that took five weeks to do so we got this thing done with pre-production in like two and a half weeks so it was a it was a whirlwind for us in that regard incredible when i first said after the party I thought, how are they ever going to beat this? And then, <laughs> and then I heard LA, Hello Exile, and I was like, how are they going to? Okay, they have beaten it. How are they going to beat this? And I'm getting a similar <laughs> feeling with this with this record as well. Um, nice, it's thank incredible. you. It's incredible to think after so many records, you can still be punching out such quality and beating the one before. It's scary, you know. How many people do that? Uh, you, you know, there, um, there's definitely detractors to the record, and everyone. You can't be in the same position in your life when you see this a certain movie or mm. um, hear a record and experience it the same way. So I think a lot of times when people are be, will come and say like, oh, well, I like that record. And it's like, well, yeah, that came out when you were at that time in your life and that's the way it's going to stick. But we we're fortunate enough to people still like coming, seeing our band and people still like the record, you know, this new record that we put out. And it is really scary because like, you know, there's got to be some fucking duds in there if you're going to make seven records. Um, but we feel like we've uh, grown um, as songwriters and with our own lives as we put each one out. So yeah, we're really excited that it's been received this way. Brad Cook, as you mentioned before, he worked on the record. You recorded it in Texas over the two week period. Um, I've heard you say, not just musically, but you learn a lot from Brad just in life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we try to starting to, as I get older, realize that a lot of experiences are accumulative. And what I mean by that is, you can learn how to fix a car engine and then you learn how to chop down a tree. But in reality, there's parts of those things that connect to each other and certain kind of truths and wisdom that you can tease out after doing it for this long. And Brad is a, a, a brilliant human being and he's a huge personality and he's a, a wonderful, wonderful person. And we learned a lot about working together and trusting certain things that we normally wouldn't have trusted in the past. We wouldn't have recorded a live record in the past. Um, we weren't good enough to at that time. I think we've been playing with each other long enough to where we could pull that off as long as we don't, you know, start playing jazz or something. <laughs> and it, it, yeah, we learned a lot about how to work with each other and a bit about an approach to songwriting from Brad. And, you know, some of those things trickled to, into life. Um, yeah, definitely. When you get to seven records in, I suppose you start thinking, what sort of record are we going to make? Or um, are we going to change things up a little bit? What are you hearing from this record that you haven't done before? So the live aspect and yep. the, I'll call it stripped down. So typically when we recorded records, we would do a lot of um, layering of guitars or playing the same thing and learn, you know, using different stereo effects and, layering almost like sub perceptible harmonies and things like that. And we made great records that way. And on this record, what we did was not that. So there's, you know, at most there's three guitars on each um, song and there's a little bit of like little pads and stuff that we put underneath. But for the most part, each thing is existing in its own space and it's not really bogged down. So that would be the main sonic difference on this record. And then the other part would be, you know, as much as we want to get intentional about what well, we're not building a house, you know, we don't like look at blueprints uh, and build it. So when we start writing a record, we don't really come in with a, a very coherent sense of this record is going to be a story about two people riding a train across the United States in 1970. That's like not 
we didn't do conceptually like that. So we kind of start to tease out the themes and the over um, arching, you know, not narrative, but just like what the record is uh, as it's going. So we were a little bit more intentional on this one though, because we've gotten older and we developed what I like to, you know, what, what is essentially is a vocabulary. Like we know what certain things mean when we say them to each other. And we would talk more conceptually about that on this record than we did on some records in the past. So we really kind of went in and it went into many shapes. Originally we went in, we were like, we're going to make a 10 song punk record. That's what we're doing. We've been locked up. We, everyone wants to get out and just, you know, come out swinging. And um, this one didn't stay that way, but a part of that spirit still lived within it as we were doing it. And then this is, this is where we got. Yeah. 